Hi, I'm Tagdeen Kaur from Build Move Funnels and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a one-page funnel. Now, let's understand what a one-page funnel is. Well, simply put, it is actually a checkout form embedded on a sales page or a landing page. So while the sales page or the landing page does the job of convincing prospects why that product is good for them and why they should buy it, the checkout form embedded right there does the job of collecting payments. So as such, there is no, uh, you know, there are no three or four steps involved to finally making the purchase. Now, conventionally, the way things work is that you direct people to a product page. They explore the product in detail, then they click on add to cart. And after they click on add to cart, they actually view cart and then they click on proceed to checkout and finally on place order. So a good three steps involved before they finally get to the checkout page and make the payment, right? So a one page funnel or an embedded checkout form slashes all these steps and makes it just a one step process. Now the advantage of this is that you can direct traffic to this dedicated page and there is no back and forth involved. They can immediately make the payment. Well, so with that said, let me now show you how to create this uh, one page funnel or embedded checkout form. Well, so as a first step, just add a new checkout page. Uh, you can name and you can just set the page title. And of course, this will not be visible to your customers. It's for admin purposes. Well, then the next step is to select the product. Now, this is the product for which you want to create this order form or this one page funnel, right? Um, now, as you can notice, this is a simple product. And secondly, you can set the discount here. So, uh, you know, you can offer a percentage off or a dollar value off and you can do it on the regular price or the sale price. Also, you can set the quantity. So let's say you want to sell two of these products at a 30% off. You can do that as well. So you can set the quantity here and that will be available for purchase. Now, as step three, you go into the form section. Now, this is where you will uh, be able to see the form builder and you can create your checkout form. Uh, there are sections here and on the right hand side, you've got fields. Now, fields are actually in sections. So sections essentially contain fields, right? So you've got an email, first name, you can drag and drop and you can change the order of the fields here. So you can choose to collect the first name and the last name and the email in that order. Uh, well, then you can move the shipping method and shipping address to the shipping method section, right? So that will be right below it. Now, once all of that is done, you go into the, uh, you've got the design section here. So that's uh, step four. In the design section, you've got two options, pre-built checkout page or embed checkout form. Uh, we want to select embed checkout form and that's because uh, we, uh, we're not looking here for a checkout template, but we want to actually generate short code here so that we can embed it on the lander page. Okay, so you select embed checkout form and then, uh, you know, this uh, customizer will open up. Now here you can uh, sort of change colors, you can, uh, you know, change the, change the font size, the font type and all of that stuff here. Now this is the pro product selector. So you've got the product listed here and you've got the quantity and the price. Right. So uh, this is what um, the product selector is. If there were multiple products here, then they will all be shown here. And if you had selected two in the quantity, then the quantity will appear here as two. Now, this payment information section, it's a default section. This is what you cannot edit uh, from the form builder. It appears like that. Right. So let me just do a quick edit and show you. So here you can adjust the form width. If you want, you can make it wider than it is at the moment. Let's just um, change the uh, heading here. So we can say complete your order. Where should we ship it, right? So that becomes our subheading and uh, this is our heading. Now it gets reflected on the top here in the blue section, right? Uh, so you can simply click on the pencil icon here and you will be able to edit that section from the left hand side. All right, so once this is done, you hit publish. And then you uh, go back into the design section. So in the design section, now you will be able to see this uh, short code has been generated, right? So this short code is for this checkout form. Let's just copy this short code. And then we're going to go into the page builder. In this case, I'm using Elementor. So this page actually explains the details of the product. 
So you search for widget and then you uh, select short code. You drag and drop the short code to wherever you want to place the checkout form and then you enter your short code, hit apply. So uh, that's it. Now let me show you how it appears on the front end. Yep, so here you go. So well, this is how the checkout form has got embedded here and it, it is very well functional. It helps you collect payments. And so while the product, the, the Lander actually does the job of convincing prospects to buy the product. The checkout form right here does the job of collecting payments in a very friction-free manner. I wanted to share with you a quick optimization hack. If you want, you can also create a two-step checkout form and collect the basic information in the first step and then dedicate the step two to collecting shipping details and billing details. Well, so this will help you minimize overwhelm. Let me show you how it will look. Well, so this is how it will appear. It's a basic two-step form. You can always make the requisite ed edits by clicking on the pencil icon here. So uh, they can fill out their basic information in step one and then the remaining details on step two. And the biggest advantage of a two-step form over a one-step form is that it looks much less overwhelming. And of course, it's very short and concise, thus making it a perfect fit for your landing page or sales page.